guys, hope you're well. Um, thanks for coming back again today. Uh, some more news on CERN. So I'm here at the Express website again. Um, I think it was just yesterday I sent... Uh, sorry about that, someone was just coming at my door. <laughs> um, so it was yesterday that I was talking about the weasel that allegedly chewed the cable at CERN, which shut it down. Um, and they're potentially causing earthquakes there. So this title alone here, so will large hydron collider destroy earth? CERN admits experiments could create black holes. Great title, you're going to love some of the content of this um, for anyone out there that is affected by the Mandela effect. Um, so, looking at this here, <clears throat> they believe if the particle smasher does not create a black hole that swallows up our world, it will pull an asteroid towards us, trigger monster earthquakes, or open a portal to allow Satan in to finish his work. Now, just with regards to that, I've also done a video on what I think links these big Mandela affected things. Um, check that video out, make of it what you will. Again, they're just theories, but I tried to use facts behind them. Uh, my instinct is that they're not good, these changes. Um, especially the biblical changes. Again, I'm not an overly religious person, more of a spiritual kind of guy, but the changes in the Bible do sound more sinister than they were before. Um, check into that yourselves. Um, right, so back to this. A host of conspiracy theories claim there is something more sinister. Behind, oh, there were, I didn't even realise I was using the same word there. A host of conspiracy theories claim there is something more sinister behind the complex machine on the Swiss-French border than answering the mysteries of how the universe started. After Express.co.uk this week reported on the latest theory that the LHC is allegedly causing major earthquakes when it is operational, the European Organisation for Nuclear Research, CERN, has moved to allay fears. They clarified what it is doing, but has admitted the particle collider could create a black hole, but claims this would be safe. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know, a safe black hole. So you're controlling something that you know very little about apart from a theory. Um, okay, yeah, makes sense to me. Um, a CERN spokesman told Express.co.uk, the Large Hydron Collider has been working beautifully well since Easter, now and will continue to work for the whole year. So Easter, that's a few months ago. That seemed to be when a lot of people started to be recording Mandela effect issues. Again, could just be coincidental. Um, Scientists are very happy as they acquire a lot of new data and thus hope to solve the remaining questions to the mysteries of our universe. CERN has, issue, has issued a statement on its website hitting back at some of the wilder claims. It disputes that LHC is dangerous at all. Um, okay, so when you're smashing particles together trying to, to find the God particle and you've got a weasel <laughs> effectively shutting down your whole operation... Um, it's not dangerous at all. Okay. The statement said, although powerful for an accelerator, the energy reached in the LHC is modest by nature's standards. Cosmic rays, particles produced by events in outer space, collide with particles in the Earth's atmosphere at much greater energies than those of the LHC. Okay. Uh, as well as others from ever since the body of form. Okay, so here we go. So what about black holes? CERN said the LHC will not generate black holes in the cosmological sense. However, some theories suggest that the formation of tiny quantum black holes may be possible. Interesting word there, quantum. Quantum realities, quantum physics. Um, okay. So CERN are saying that it is possible for the black holes there. Um, tiny quantum black holes, such so as small changes then. 
The observation of such an event would be thrilling in terms of our understanding of the universe and would be perfectly safe. Okay, perfectly safe. Again, we've, we've discussed that. But the organisation categorically denied it could open a portal to another dimension, let alone one that would let Satan in, but could prove if they are possible. CERN said, CERN will not open a door to another dimension. If the experiments conducted at the LHC demonstrate the existence of certain particles, it could help physicists to test various theories about nature and our universe, such as the presence of extra dimensions. Okay, so Mandela effect, anyone? CERN also denies being able to influence weather, earthquake or asteroids. Okay, so I'm going to do a video on this. It's called HARP. Um, I'm going to thoroughly investigate it. I've already looked into that quite a bit. So keep an eye peeled for that. It's about weather manipulation. Okay. CERN also disputes the aim of the LHC is to disprove God exists. It added, people from all over the world work together harmoniously at CERN, representing all religions, uh, sorry, all regions, religions and cultures. CERN exists to understand the mystery of nature for the benefit of humankind. Scientists at CERN use the world's largest and most complex scientific instruments to study the basic con constituents of matter, the fundamental particles. Particles are made to collide together at close speeds. Like, oh, da, 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 one long-running long conspiracy theory is that the LHC is a tool of the so-called Illuminati, a secret global elite above world governments that are said to be involved in Satanism to bring about a new world order. Again, just the way they're wording this, so very so-called, there is plenty of evidence to suggest that the New World Order is very, very real. You've, only, you've got those uh, the Bilderberg meetings. Again, for any of you that hasn't haven't heard of that, check out check that out. I mean, there's coverage on it. Um, Bohemian Grove. That's another thing that indicts a lot of these. Uh, elitists so look into that as well CERN compounded, CERN compounded this myth when it unveiled a two meter high statue of Indian deity Shiva conspiracy website now the end begins .com. Uh, I've never actually been on that website might check it out see what they have posed the question what was a statue dedicated to the Hindu Lord Nataraja also known as the dark one at the CERN collider because the new world order is sending you a message so Shiva, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm pretty sure is the god of war. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure. So they're saying the Shiva statue was a gift from India to celebrate its association with CERN, which started in the 1960s and remains strong today. This data was shown when I'm going because of a metaphor that was drawn. So feel free to read this at the same time as me, guys. It sounds like it's been. Okay, so several websites have also read things into the CERN logo as being connected to the Illuminati. So I've got that open on another page here for you. So CERN said the shapes in CERN's current logo represent particle accelerators. Okay, so let's have a little look at their logo here. So that's the actual logo there where the, the mouse cursor is. Um yeah, I can. I mean, this was one of the clearest ones. There's other examples of 666 being in company logos in their sigils. Um, Google Chrome, that's another one. The Disney logo, um, the Monster Energy Drink, that's quite a blatant one once you realize what the actual signs are on there. Um, yeah, to me, it's clear as day. So, someone here has literally shown it as it is at 666 put into the logo could be a complete coincidence but there's too many things that lead me to believing this is no coincidence um the final design used the original today's logo is a simplified version of this so yeah that's pretty much the end of the article there guys so the main thing i glean from this is that cern have said that they could open black holes um, yeah Mandela effect I also think with regards to the Mandela effect 
just judging by my own observations of other people's videos, I mean, I have put many, many hours into this already. Um, I think that there is more than one dimensional shift that has happened. Just by what other people have said on there, again, I'm only going off the good faith of other people's comments and their videos that everyone is legit in what they're saying. I know there are going to be some people out there that put out false videos and whatnot. I expect that. Um, and you've got to use your own discernment for that. However, so there's one video that I put on here of a guy in South Africa where he's he's got different Volkswagen logos. That's when I first thought, what if other what if more than one dimension has com combined i guess is what you'd call it um another one that got me there's another youtuber by the name of moneybag73 i believe it was he was putting up a video about the capricorn sign now he what he knows the capricorn sign as is different than how i know it and then there's even more people who know it differently so there's at least three different sets of memories of how people remember the Capricorn sign. Um, so I'm thinking that either three or more re realities, dimensions, whatever you want to call them, have somehow merged. But that's for another video, guys. Um, that's all from me today. Thank you again for your time and have a good one.